So what is GD&T? GD&T is a language used by engineers, designers, manufacturing, manufacturers, and inspectors to communicate design information. It's a language made of symbols. We use symbols instead of just writing it out in sentences and paragraphs because symbols leave less room for interpretation. The symbols are decoded with the ASME Y145 standards. They get updated once every about 10 years and they give you all the symbols, all the meanings for the symbols and generally how they need to be used. The ASME Y145 standard is the last word in any GD&T interpretation. All of the textbooks, handbooks, and pocket guides trace all of their information to the ASME Y145 standard, which contains basically all the information you need to know to apply, uh, interpret, and incorporate GD&T in your drawings and making and inspecting parts. GD&T has a couple of concepts that set it apart from dimensioning with notes and plus and minus dimensions. I'll mention two in this video. The first is the concept of the datum reference frame, datums, and datum precedents. What this essentially does is a couple of things. It tells manufacturing what features are important on the part. It tells inspectors how to inspect the part. So it's like a set of instructions on how to set up the part for inspection and manufacturing without having to use a bunch of words. It's all done through symbols. For the design side, the datums allow you to do more accurate tolerance stack ups because you know which portions of the part and the parts in the assembly are gonna to be touching so you know how to set up your vector loops. The next big thing GD&T gives us is the concept of material condition. So the MMC and LMC modifiers can be used to allow more geometric tolerance depending on the actual produced size of a feature. So for things like clearance holes, if the position is off but the hole comes in large, it may pass inspection. Now, this functionally means the same thing. If a hole is bigger, it'll still let uh, you know, the mating piece pass through and the part still works. There's no reason for it to fail just because it came off uh, location or size a little bit, as long as it does so in the direction that makes the hole larger. This is the MMC concept. The LMC concept does a little different thing. It is usually used to protect wall thickness. So for a position of a hole, LMC allows more positional tolerance as the hole gets smaller, the actual produced size of the hole. Both of these are made to allow accept parts that are functionally acceptable, which is one of the points of GD&T. We're concerned with the function of the part, not just you know how it looks on paper. So that's it for this video. That's what, in my estimation, are the most important foundations of GD&T and essentially what it is and what it does. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I've got plenty of videos that explain this stuff in more detail if you need to know more.